Hello everybody, so what we're going to cover today is how to change your username and your password with all the hacking that's going around these days with WordPress uh, websites, it's a good idea to uh, choose a good uh, username and if, you've, if you're using admin as your username, I would go ahead and change it uh, right away. So the first thing we need to do is add a new user. So in order to do that, we just go ahead like in here into users, click on add new. And then let's let's put in the information. So now I'm gonna put WP Basics as a new user. Just put in a any pat any email address that you that you have available for this purpose. I'll just put test at test. I'll just put that name, John Doe, <laughs> for lack of a, a better name. And then you click in here under passwords. Click on show password. And you would want to select a strong password, something like this one that's being displayed, or you can generate a new one. But for this uh, demonstration purpose, I'm just going to put something like this. Just This is just for demonstrations. You would definitely want to choose a strong password. And um, I have to click here because it's a weak password. The important part is, as the role, you want to select it as administrator. So just double check everything here. The username has been filled out. The email address has been filled out. First and last name has been filled out you have a strong password and you've selected the role as administrator. Once you've done that, go ahead and click on add new user. So the new user, as you can see now, has been created. So the next step now is to log out because right now we're logged in as root. We have to log out from that one. Okay, go ahead and log out. And let's log in as the new user we just created. Oops. So let's log in. So once you've logged in, what we wanna do is go back again to users. And now you can see both users are still there and we wanna delete this user. And it's prompting us, well, if there's content from that other user that we're just about to delete, what do you wanna do with that? So we wanna attribute it to uh, some other author. So let's just attribute it to the John Doe one that we just created and then confirm deletion. And there you have it. Your uh, username is now changed and your password is changed as well. You can continue to change your password at any time. You would just go into users and scroll down where it says generate password and you can change your password at any time. It's just the username that requires this extra procedure. Just one other thing that I would suggest is that the nickname that you use, that it should be different than your username so um, you know put it to anything else except what your username is that just adds an extra layer of security it's harder for people to guess or to use that because most people use the nickname as the admin uh, name so if they know your nickname from w watching your posts uh, they'll know what your admin username is also so this just gives it an extra little layer of security well, that's the end of the, the little tutorial. I hope you liked it. And if you like this tutorial and you want to see other ones like this one, visit my website, wpbasics.org. Oh, and also, please don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.